Hello everyone, this is Pai Raja. In this video, we will discuss about lie of realization of parental products. First of all, what is lie of realization? Lie of realization or freeze drying both are same. Lie of realization is a process in which water is removed from a product after it is frozen and placed under a vacuum which allowing the ice to change directly from a solid to vapor without passing through a liquid phase. That means lyophilization it is a one type of process in which water is completely removed from a product after it is frozen and it is placed under a vacuum. So allowing ice to directly change from solid to vapor without passing through a liquid phase. Next one is process that consists of three separate, unique and interdependent processes. Three phases is present for lyophilization. First one is freezing step. Next one is primary drying that is called as a sublimation. And next one is secondary drying that is called as a desorption. Advantages Lyophilization that is easy of processing a liquid which simplifies accepting handling. So lyophilization process it is a easy handling of liquid and maintain a aseptic condition easily that enhance stability of dry powder. So that is useful for enhance the stability of dry powders. That removal of water without excessing excessive heating of a product. So easily water is removed by or without excessive heating of any product. Next one is Enhance product stability in a dry state. We already discussed. And rapid and easy dissolution of reconstituted product. So any reconstituted product is rapidly and easily dissolved. out. What is the disadvantages of lyophilization of parental preparation is increased handling and processing time. So that is a time consuming method and handling is some time difficult also. Need for sterile diluent upon reconstitution. So sterile diluents is required for reconstitution purpose. And last one is cost and complexity of equipment is high. Cost is high and complexity is high to maintain equipment. Steps that is involved in a lyophilization process is first step is dissolving the drug and excipient in the suitable solvents, generally water for injection. So first step is dissolve drug and in, sorry drug and excipients in a suitable solvents, generally in a water for injection. That is act as a solvent. Next one is Sterilizing the bulk solution by passing it through a 0.22 micron bacteria retentive filter. Next step is sterilize the bulk solution by passing through a bacteria sensitive filter. And that is the uh, size of bacteria sensitive filter is 0.22 micron. Next step is Filling into an individual sterile container and partially stoppering the containers under a aseptic condition. So next step is filling into the individual sterile containers and partially it is stoppered out to maintain aseptic condition. So it is properly stored out. Transporting the partially stoppered container to the lyophilizer and loading into the chamber 
under aseptic condition that means transporting the partial stoppered container to the lyophilizer and that is loading into the chamber and maintain under a aseptic condition freezing the solution by placing the partial stoppered container on cold slabs shelves in a freeze drying chamber or pre freezing in a another chamber so freezing the solution by placing the partial stoppered container on a cold slabs in a freeze drying chamber next step is apply a vacuum to a chamber and heating the shelves in order to evaporate the water from frozen state that means in this step vacuum is applied to the chamber and heating the shelves to evaporate the water from a frozen state that means heating is applied to evaporate the water from a ice stage ice ice complete stoppering of pile usually by hydraulic or screw rod stoppering mechanism that is installed in the lyophilizer there are many new parenteral products including anti infectives biotechnology derived products and in vitro diagnostics which are manufactured as lyophilized product this type of product is manufactured as lyophilized product like various new parenteral products anti infective biotechnological derived products and in vitro diagnostics additionally inspection have disclosed potency sterility and stability problems that is associated with the manufacture and control of lyophilized product that means inspection have disclosed potency sterility and stability problem that is associated with manufacturing of lyophilized product the inspection is also required thank you